Um, okay, let's look at today's uh, problem, um, 953, verifying uh, alien dictionary. So the question reads that uh, given the alien language, uh, they're also using English lower le lowercase letters, A to Z, possibly in a different order. The order of the alphabet is some permutation of the lowercase letters. So it's a permutation meaning that it's using still using the 26 uh, characters. One, um, every every character only used the ones, but it's uh, shuffled in, in terms of the order. Uh, then, uh, given this order, and now we have a sequence of words written in this language. Um, we want to see whether the words are sorted lexical graphically in this alien language. So what does that mean is that uh, um, um, maybe take 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 a look at the example. May give us more concrete uh, feelings about what does this mean. Uh, the first one is the hello Lee code H and L. These two letters are different. Uh, they, they, they are from the same location of the words, the zero index here, uh, but uh, H comes before L in this according to this order. So the word hello should come before lead code uh, in the, if the whole sequence is sorted. So that, that this first one is okay. The second one here, uh, we see L comes before D, so these two words, the ordering is wrong. And we don't have we don't even have to look at the third one because the f the first two it's already uh, screwed uh, up at the the ordering, and the, the very last example we can see that uh, the first word actually contains the uh, it's it's a uh, if you call start with put the second word here the first word um, it started with all the characters of the second word. And it has more stuff, so it should be to the right um, if we actually sort this uh, sequence of words. So this is a false as well. Um, so uh, we, we can use a special, uh, as this uh, explanation says, say, here says, um, if this is uh, longer than that, we can actually just pad these uh, shorter ones with some unique uh, um, some uh, special tokens and have this to be uh, maybe uh, put that into the first location of the ordering and then we just carry out the comparison as usual it will also tell us Apple should come after APP uh, so we could either uh, write logics to to see whether this case happens or we can actually pad the shorter ones with this uh, some kind of special token so yeah, um, uh, just some constraints. It's the the length of the words. Uh, the uh, every word is less than twenty, and uh, alphabet is twenty six. Yeah, okay. I guess the um, one of the key uh, takeaway or or um, key findings is that. Uh, we don't need to compare all the pairs of words uh, to determine whether the whole sequence is sorted or not. Um, we only need to compare the adjacent two um, because if A is less than B and B is less than C, then we are pretty much sure that A is less than C. That's uh, just the property of uh, sorting things. Um, so. All we need to do is compare uh, the adjacent uh, words, um, pairs of words uh, in this sequence. If we find a violation, then uh, we return false. Otherwise, uh, it should be all good. Uh, so that's telling us that uh, if we see the number of unique number of words in the sequence is n, then we need to do n comparison, n minus one comparisons. So if the words lens, average lens or maximum lens is M, then for each of the comparisons, we are uh, at most doing M comparisons. So the whole, the total time complexity is M multiplied by M, which is the number of uh, uh, words in the sequence and um, multiplied by the um, lens of the individual words. So that's the time complexity. And since we are doing um, 
this kind of comparison, we don't need to really allocate any extra space. So it's constant uh, space uh, approach. So all it left uh, with us is uh, we have to compare our basically implement this uh, comparison. Uh, we have to implement a function that tells us whether these two words are lexically, lexical, graphically sorted or not. So it just uh, we have to implement uh, our own comparator, basically. Um, so yeah, let's actually start to code it up. Um, the main logic, as I was saying, um, we should just uh, compare the adjacent words um, in zip the words. And uh, if not, uh, order w1, w2. If they are not in the correct lexical graphical order, then we should return false. Otherwise, uh, if nothing happens in this for loop, uh, we are all good. We should return true. Uh, so that's the t u r or t r u e. So that's the uh, main logics uh, for this uh, determination. It's just that uh, we have to code up uh, this like lexical order function. Um, w1, w2. So for for given two words, we should compare uh, the letters um, at the correspondence correspondent positions. Um, so that's for c1, c2 in is it w1, w2? Um, so there, there are three situations. One is that uh, the order of c1 is uh, comes before c2. Then we we can safely say that word one is before word two. Um, so the just quick naive implementation would be uh, just to try to find the index of this particular character in this ordering. And uh, if that's a smaller than order dot index c2, then we should return true. The other situation is that um, when it's the opposite, um, then we are pretty pretty sure that it's not the correct order. So if this two if condition never happens, uh, that means we are. Uh, the, the two letters are the same um, and um, after this for loop uh, all it left us all we need to do is just to compare the lens of the word one and the lens of lens of word two um, if the first one is smaller um, that's the app to apple case uh, so we just return when w1 is less than the lens of w2 um, so uh, we, we could do a equal sign here so that uh, um, if we have the duplicates uh, we're still considering they are in good order so that would be the um, yeah one of the implementation let's see how it works um, okay yeah, it works. Uh, it's actually quite quite fast, actually. Uh, I was thinking that we should actually improve this a little bit um, by using maybe a little bit extra space to come up with um, a dictionary. You know, char to index the character, the letter. Let, let me actually use letter here. Letter um, index for Chinese index uh, in enumerate order. So this would uh, give us a lookup table. Uh, well, we need to look up the index of the character. Uh, we just do C1 here. So um, I was thinking that the string dot index would be a linear time uh, operation that needs to scan the whole order string to find the index. Uh, if we convert that into a hash map, that gives us a uh, constant time lookup for the order. But uh, I guess it's, it, 
this is a fixed lens, it's constant lens 26. So the dot index is actually uh, pretty fast as well. But I would imagine this would just work this, uh, just to work as well. And uh, yeah, we actually be a little bit slower uh, with this hash table looks up lookups. Um, yeah, so that's the solution for this question. Uh, okay. Done.